boy, the middle of April, moving right along. And again, these things are moving right along at a very fast pace. Perhaps your world isn't going as fast as mine, but yeah, it just seems like one thing to another to another. I'll be heading back this weekend to, uh, but by the time you hear this, it'll be past that, but we'll be heading back this weekend for Dr. Dr. Lewis. Lewis's memorial service and which kind of opens the door for a lot of reflection and thought. But isn't it so true that our life, it's just a vapor, and we're told that we should apply our heart to wisdom in Psalm 90 and verse 12, I, I believe, that's, that that's the direction that our life's thought should go in. Now, you've heard people say... Uh, quite often uh, a little too heavenly minded to be any earthly good <laughs> kind of opposite from what the apostle paul said in colossians chapter 3 and verse 5 that we are to set our affections on things above and actually verse 1 through 5 that we're not to look on the things of this earth because they're fleeting but set our affections on things above where christ is seated on the right hand of god Actually, the word there, affections, is our very thoughts and our heart and our attitude. So I don't know that a person could be too heavenly minded to be any earthly good. I think you can't really be any earthly good unless you're heavenly minded. And I got a feeling that Dr. Lewis is in full agreement with that right now. Surrounded by all the people that have gone before him that he's known and loved and ministered to, or been ministered to by, can you imagine what that reunion was like? Can you imagine when Kathy was probably one of the first people that he would meet there in heaven? Uh, just the joy of that moment. The fact that you and I, in 1 Peter 1, 3, have a living hope. Uh, that we have something that we look forward to. That we don't live our life in vain, empty, just being tossed by everything that comes our way, but we literally set our sights on something far beyond this earth, uh, kind of like Hebrews 11, 13. We're just strangers and pilgrims, just waiting. We're, we're seeking something that's afar so off. And doing that, as we've said so often, allows us to be really thankful for the, not only the time that we have, but also the people that God places in our life and the circumstance that we're allowed to go through. Uh, we're privileged to go through things. You think oftentimes we have a tendency to, you know, really exalt sports figures. Think of the effort that goes into playing a professional sport. Well, in God's economy, think of the effort that goes into just simply day by day living your life setting your affections on things above, pursuing with all your heart the things that Christ has you know, provided for us in circumstance, situations, good, bad, or indifferent. God provides for us the faith to endure these things, and we, we go through them just simply faithfully. So as we close out today, just... Take a moment. Think about all the people in your life that have been a part of your life, that have added to your life in some way. Think about perhaps those that actually we might, if we were just simply thinking about ourselves, consider to be nothing but a deficit in our life. But you know what? God used all of those things, all of them. Just consider that for a moment. All of those things. God used in your life to create a, a depth of faith, a desire for him. Uh, can't really look at any of it as being outside of his will or that he hasn't used it in our life. I mean, that's exactly what Romans 8, 29 tells us, that all of the things that happen in our life, God's using to conform us into his image. So I don't know about you, but as Christians, we, we got a lot, not only to enjoy, but to laugh about. 
and thank God for. We'll talk about that more perhaps the next time. But thank you, Dr. Lewis, for all the good times and the investment that you've made in our life. And I don't see you face to face now, but I will. And I know it's going to be a happy reunion. And I'm so thankful that I was a, I was a recipient of your loving kindness. Till next time, friends, God bless you.